Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Hang on. We'll get there. There I am. Hey, how are y'all doing this morning? My name is Tom Rigsby, your host right here for seven minutes in the morning where you get your daily dose from me. It's a cold, snowy. I don't know if it's snowing or not. Can't see out the windows. They're frosted over. (laughs) Actually, I hadn't looked. It's been pretty dark this morning, but at least cold morning here. Uh, So I'm all wrapped up sitting in front of the heater, but oh, oh, yeah, and nice warm cup of coffee. If you don't have your cup of coffee yet, go ahead and grab it. I'll be here. You can come back and continue watching live or watching on the replay. Either way, it'd be fine with me. And when you do, I'd appreciate if you do what Joe and Keith have already done. Just drop me a comment and say, good morning. How you doing? Funny looking head, whatever. Um, I'm happy with all that input. Good morning to you guys. And I um, hope you are doing well. So now with all of that out of the way, I have to live up to the title today. <clears throat> interesting title, I hope, and uh, an interesting topic. So we are, what is today? The 17th, January the 17th. We know that only 40% of New Year's resolutions make it to February the 1st. So I guess if you do that math, probably by now 20% of people have given up on it, another 20% in the next two weeks to get to that number. So why is it that that happens? Well, I ran across a quote that I think encapsulates it pretty well. I will unpack this just a little bit. It's from Ralph Waldo Emerson, the writer. He said, to map a course of action and follow it to an end requires courage. To map a course of action and follow it to an end. It's easy to make plans. It's easy to make resolutions. It's easy to do all of that stuff. But to follow it to the end requires courage. Now, Courage is an interesting choice of words, too, because courage um, does not mean the absence of fear. It doesn't mean that you're not afraid. It means that you are taking actions in the face of fear. Right? I mean, think about that for a minute. It's not possible to demonstrate courage in the absence of fear. You have to be afraid in order to be courageous. If it's not, if you're not afraid, there's no courage required, right? All right, so now let's look at it again. To map a course of action, follow it to an end, requires courage. So if it requires courage, then it also requires some measure of fear. Hmm, that's interesting. To map a course of action and follow it to an end creates fear. Why is that? Why are we fearful of uh, those outcomes? Right? I mean, it's easy to make plans. It's easy to make resolutions. But why are we fearful of the outcomes? Well, I think it's because we're afraid of change. Change is what we, and it's, it's incredibly ironic. Our brains are wired to identify change. Right? I mean, it's those magic eye puzzles or, you know, what's different in the two picture, uh, kind of things that, we used to see in the newspaper every Sunday, but you, you know, you look at the two pictures and you try to pick out what's different. Our brains wired to find those differences. And yet, so we, so we crave, we live, re, we reward ourselves off of identifying the differences. Yet we also crave consistency. We like to know the outcome in advance because if we don't, then that's risky. Risk is bad. And the, uh, the lizard brain down there tries to steer us away from that. So we have, we, we crave that change, but we also crave that consistency. So when we're thinking about making plans, mapping a course of action, following it to an end, right? Just understand it's going to be challenging. And the closer you get to it, the harder I think it's going to push back because the closer you are to actually realizing that change and that change is going to push back to try and prevent you. That's when the courage kicks in 
when you really have to push in order to get through there. So I'll give you uh, this question today. And, and actually, it's a two-part question today. Since we're halfway through January and 20% of people have given up on the New Year's resolutions anyway, is there a big plan that you are pursuing that is going to require some courage? Have you already given up on the big plan that you had <laughs> that required some courage? Here's the, th the, here's the thing about that. Start over. Not too late. Fear of failure is one component, Joe says. Um, yeah, I think there's fear. I, oh, well, all fear is rooted in uncertainty. Fear of failure is just feel, fear of what's going to happen if I fail. Fear of success is fear of what's going to happen when I succeed. And you don't know, right? It's that uncertainty about both outcomes that create the fear. Um, <clears throat> I don't, uh, in, in most cases, I would say that the fear of success is actually stronger because fear of failure comes is, is rooted in a place of experience. I know if I stick my hand in this fire, it's going to hurt, right? I don't know if I stick my hand in this bowl of liquid that looks like water, whether that's going to hurt or not. Could be water, could be acid, right? I, I, I don't know. So... That I'm more fearful of that than I am the known outcome. And those, those fears of failure, um, are very often, not always, but very often rooted in that knowledge. Sometimes it's a fear of consequences that we've projected that, that really aren't there. In all cases, it's fear. And just acknowledge fear is rooted in uncertainty. That's all. If you want to be less fearful, if you want to have more courage, be more knowledgeable about the outcome, right? It's like trading Bitcoin, right? <laughs> if, if you want to do that, you can do that. You can be confident or you can be fearful, confident or courageous. I guess those are the two opposite ends of the spectrum in that case. But you you lessen the risk, you increase your chances, you can increase your confidence by understanding, by learning what's going on. Not another pitch for learning and self-development. I'm going to hold that for another day, though, because we're already over on time. Time flies when you're having fun. I enjoy doing these a lot. Hey, listen, if this uh, has benefited you, oh, wait, hang on, before I get into that, Joe's throwing down this morning, can't. Change isn't always a good thing. You can change toward a bad result. Hmm. Um, yes, I agree. You can change toward a bad result. The default is always to remain constant in a scenario of uncertainty. So status quo. Oh, Joe, you're going to get me off on another topic. I'm going to avoid that this morning. But I will say this. Status quo. Um. Well, and I've said it here before, right? We're either, we're either growing or decaying. There is no stasis, right? We're never still. We're either growing or decaying. Those are the only two options. And it, it's the same. And, and that's change. I mean, so we are always changing. Change is like the absolute value, right? It is always, it's never zero. Something's always changing. It's just whether it's positive or negative that um, that we have an influence over. And sometimes, I was having this conversation uh, over the weekend, actually. Sometimes it's just our perspective. You know, we're, we're, we were taught the conversation I was having was about um, karma and how good, good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. And I said, well, who gets to decide whether that, instance that occurrence was a good thing or a bad thing well me the person upon which that 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 action occurred i get to make that choice and maybe it's a good thing other people look at it and think oh man that's terrible but i look at it and think oh, that's pretty cool all about your perspective i'm gonna save i'm gonna save some of that maybe i'll try and get into that tomorrow Hey, listen, if this has been beneficial, I would appreciate if you give the little video here a thumbs up. 
I like to see the little flo- thumbs floating by uh, as we're having this conversation. Be sure and share it in, in your network. God, oh, can't get my words out this morning. And if you know somebody specifically that could benefit from this, be sure and share it with them. Tag their name in a comment or just share it live on their feed. That's it for today. Um, since it's uh, you know, kind of snowy and whatnot out, I'm not sure what the... Uh, what the future holds for the coffee shop show today, but we'll find out in a couple of hours. Be around around nine o'clock and uh, something will happen one way or the other. Either way, I'll be back here. Will I? I think I have an appointment in the morning at 630. I'll do my best to be here at seven o'clock in the morning. We'll just have to play it day by day this week. See what happens. You guys have a great Wednesday, a wonderful Wednesday. I'll be back here uh, tomorrow, I think, uh, at least by Friday. In uh, either case, in either case, I'll talk to you when I'm back. You guys take care.